Hello friends, my name is Steve, and today in this exciting Mason New Media tutorial, we're taking our first delve into the fusion aspect of DaVinci Resolve 15. This is part of my 15 days of DaVinci 15 tutorial series, where you can also get 15% off any product from the MasonMedia.com slash products store. Just type in the code Resolve15 at checkout and you're good to go. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. This is going to be a nice, super basic effect to get you started in fusion, where it teaches you just easing you in, making you feel good. And this is my favorite text reveal of all time the classic i always go to it's one of the first things i try to make in anything i do so the first thing that we have is we have some just cool stock footage here uh nice abstract stuff this is from you know shamelessly enough the mason media lens junk pack so you can find that mason media.com products resolve 15 at checkout to get 15 percent off all right so you can go into edit and we're just going to click and drag this in i've already selected a nice little section that i like here i really like these fly eyes clips i think they are very cool and we're going to hop over into our Fusion tab and see if we get our node editor. Let me close this out so we don't see it yet. So here we have our media in node. And this flows just like the color page. So we get our input and our output. And all of our processing is going to go in between here. But we have so many more options in Fusion than in the color part of this. So this is going to be really exciting if you haven't used a node-based compositor before. So what we're going to do is going to have some text sort of zoom on to this image. And you see we've got a little render range here and we are good to go. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just add some text. And you can do that a couple different ways. You can first go right click, add tool, generator, text plus. Or you can go to the effects library, tools, generator, text plus. Or my favorite way of doing it is just hitting control space, type in text, and text plus right there. Excellent. So now we have this, but we can't see anything yet. And that's why we have two windows here. Right now, this is set to our main output. So you can see it's got this little highlighted thing down here, which means it is our in our second viewer. So we can keep this open while we work on our text here. We can open this up in our first viewer by hitting the one on our keyboard. So one is this window. Two on our keyboard is this window. Really easy to switch between them. So now we've got a nice little transparency grid, but no text yet. So over in our inspector area, we've got our text tools, style text, we will make this say 15 days. You see it's updating automatically over on the left. And we can change our font around, we can be, you know, something like, uh, goodness, what's cool, SST standard is cool. And we can increase the tracking because that's cool. And that's going to lead us into our first little bit of animation here. So you see we've got our in point and our out point for our sequence all set up in our render range. We'll go to the beginning and we'll go back over to our tracking control and just add a keyframe there, just like you would in the color page. And then drag forward to the end and we'll increase our tracking just a little bit. And you see it automatically adds a keyframe because it is highlighted again. And if we play through, you can see we get some nice little tracking action there. Very cool. The next thing we're gonna do is make this zoom on. And the way we do that is you could probably finagle it with the transform controls in here, but it's much easier and much better to do it just in a different transform node. So control space, transform. So you've got transform there. And now what's great about this, since this is a node-based compositor, is if we duplicate our text here, we could actually have you know one text there and then we can have another one going in if we need a different version that says something else like you know Theo rocks with an X because I'm 15 apparently and on MySpace. You can just put that in and it'll automatically keep our transform stuff happening. But we're gonna go back to our normal thing one so we can see our transform and we're going to animate our size. So we're gonna go play through and get a sense for our timing. So I think just about there will be a good place to end our scale on. So add a size keyframe at one, then scoot back to the beginning and scoot it way up. We'll say five is fine. Automatically creates a keyframe so we can play through. You can see that looks okay, boom. But it'd be really nice if this wasn't a linear zoom, if this was more of a exponential, but more than that zoom. So we can go up to our little spline editor page and check on our size. And now you can see we have our value over time. So you see it is five here, time passes, it linearly goes down to one. But we can change this around so it isn't linear. 
So you just click on our keyframe and then you get these little bezier handles. Bring this down like that and bring this one down like that. And if we play through now, zoom, it's much more energetic, much cooler. I think that is a much better looking thing. So now the next thing that we have to do is get this happening over top of our footage. When we do this, this is a very fundamental aspect of Fusion that is good to know, and that is we use a merge node. So control space, M-E-R-G, merge, you can shift and drag, and that'll automatically put it in line. And then we can bring this in. And you see this automatically put it on the foreground in our background. But if you don't see it, you just flip those around. And our text is automatically on transparency. So you can see we have got that rocking and rolling. But if you're like me and you come from After Effects, you say this is great, but it's missing one thing, and that is motion blur. So how do we enable motion blur? Pretty easy. Go back to our transforms. We'll hop over to our settings page. Let me save real quick because this has caused some crashing in the past. Since this is the beta version of the software, I'm going to disable GPU just to be sure. Then enable motion blur. All right. And you see we get you know, a pretty bad motion blur, but that's because our quality is only set at two. So this is totally fine for previewing. Do we crash? We crashed. All right. Now OBS is using a different GPU. So maybe we'll be able to play through. Nice. Look at that. It's not fast. But it'll cache this, and now you can see, once again, it's got the crappy motion blur right now, but all we have to do is put this up to reasonable values, like something like 8. Save again real quick, and play it through, and zoop. Now we've got this ready, rocking and rolling, wheeling and dealing. Nice. So there you go. Just that easy. We've got our media out tab good to go. And go into our color page. You can make this look cooler by adding some contrast and some saturation and lens reflections, which I'm definitely going to do a video on later because it is very cool. But there you go. Oop, let's loop this. Might be a little bit much with the lens reflections, but you know, I'll make that good for the Instagram post. So and then you can just render it out like you would any other clip and you're good to go. So just that simple, a nice, simple text reveal. You can use a logo also, bring that in. I have done this logo reveal so many times. It works so well. It's simple. It looks good. It's great. Using just different pieces of stock footage behind it. Top notch. Highly recommend. So I hope you like this little introduction to Fusion. This is you know a super basic thing, but it starts to get you used to how how the interface works, how things are happening. And you can bet that in our continuation of our 15 days of DaVinci 15, we're going to get way more into some fusion stuff. So uh, stick around, subscribe to Meast Media YouTube channel, check out even more stuff. Go check out meastmedia.com slash products. You can get these light leaks for 15% off for a limited time. Just type in the code resolve15 at checkout and you're good to go. Leave a comment down below of what else you want to see, any great fusion tips that you have, because I am still pretty new to the fusion ecosystem. So it's best if I did anything stupid. Like I know people gave me that shift drag tip, which is great, and the control space tip. So you guys know who you are. Thank you very much. I appreciate you very much. Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>